It is afterburn time once again in the Spicicus household. Today, more pickled chili goodness. Uh, I think you've seen on my last afterburn video that I did some pickled habaneros from McClure's that was still left in that in that spicy pickle jar, and I drank the juice. Then I drink some more juice today from the Duker's Dills pickle jar, and I fished out all of their chilies and some cloves of garlic that were in there. So I have six bird's eye chilies in there and two cloves of garlic. Figure uh, might have a little snack today and might as well do an afterburn video on it. I was kind of wavering actually how I was going to attack this. Uh, I didn't know if I wanted to do one chili at a time or all of them at once or, or whatnot, but I'm just going to start really with the fattest one. I think that seems appropriate. So this to me seems like the fattest one. Uh, really can't see what's in here, but I'll put a picture on the screen so that you can see what exactly I'm eating out of this container that was in this jar. Uh, still remnants of stems at the top, but uh, we'll, we'll deal with that as we go. And I'll start the timer as uh, after I eat that first chili, so, or as I'm eating that first chili. So here we go. Three, two, one, go. I mean, I'm hoping that there's still some spice left in these. The cedar is still in there. I love the fruitiness of a Thai chili. Luckily this one doesn't have a stem. It's really just trying to get around all those seeds. Very, very good pickling liquid actually on this one. It's got a nice amount of, of that vinegar in there and the salt, but to be perfectly honest, it's not too, it's not too overwhelming on the saltiness. Uh, for pickling liquid anyway. I did want to share one funny story which um, I've told a bunch of my friends before but I don't know if I really shared it on a video. There used to be a Thai cart uh, in Portland a few years ago and the uh, the lady who ran the cart was, was she was obviously Thai. I ordered a, um, a curry dish from her and she asked me if I really liked it spicy, and of course I said, of course I love it spicy. And she said, well, how many Thai chilies do you want? I can put actual bird's eye, red bird's eye chilies on your, on your curry dish if you wish. And I said, sure, that'd be awesome. She asked me how many I wanted on, on my dish. So I threw it back at her saying, well, how many do you put on it? And she said, eight Thai chilies. So I said, well, I want eight Thai chilies on my curry. And she gave it to me with eight Thai chilies, and I was was very, very happy. It was a very happy panda that day. Loved it. It wasn't too spicy for me. In fact, it was just delicious with, with the curry itself. So I wish that cart was still there, but I think she retired or something like that. I'm trying to get the... Trying to get the um, chilies off their stems here. Still really not doing much for me. But again, very, very tasty when it comes to that. So that's done. One thing that I did want to that really piqued my interest was the pickled garlic. And I saved this for last for a reason because garlic is really extremely powerful in terms of flavor. I'm going to be tasting nothing but garlic the rest of the day, so I wanted to save that for the end so I can appreciate the, the Thai chilies. But I've got a couple of cloves of garlic in here. Here's one of them. 
right there. It's one of them. All of that pickling liquid had to have sucked out the garlic, the, the garlic flavor, but there is that spice that you can associate with garlic that's in there, which is really interesting. Still maintains a lovely crunch, but all the intensity of a garlic in terms of garlicky flavor went into that pickling liquid. Maybe a small remnant of it remains. But the spice of it, whether it's the liquid itself or the spicy qualities of garlic, went back into the actual clove itself. I think overall this was very, very tasty. Quite a lovely experience, to be honest with you. Nothing, nothing too potent here. Uh, I can't even remember what my scale was on this thing anymore. I think it was somewhere out of 10, right? And this to me is like a two and a half out of 10. You know, it's really nothing, nothing to scoff at. Five minutes are already up. We've already seen that. So, five minutes are already up. This is just kind of a fun little video for me. But I wanted to give another shout out to Duker's Dills. They make some great pickles. Uh, click the link in the description to go check out their website. Uh, I think they will ship to you online. But, hey guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share, subscribe, and comment below. Uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, please follow me on there. And uh, that's basically that, guys. That's all for this Afterburn video. Embrace that pain, and I'll see you in the next video.